Everybody always picked on me. I thought if I could be a samurai, it would change everything. Sounds like you need a mentor. Perhaps a once great samurai who has fallen on hard times and maybe could use some help himself. But where could I find one? What? Oh, get out of here! Who even made that? Black Tree TV, and I'm joined with Michael Sarah, who plays Hank in The Legend of Hank. Um, lovely to meet you. First up, I would love to know, um, Hank is ultimately the underdog of the film and um, proves to anyone that you can do anything you put your mind to. So what do you think audiences can learn from Hank and his resilience as a dog in a cat-dominated world? Well, I mean, I think that's a beautiful thing about Hank. You know, he's, um, he's sort of got no qualifications at all to do what he wants to do, you know, but he has it in his heart and he knows himself very, you know, very well and knows that this is what he's destined to do and doesn't give up on it. And I think that's what wins over his, you know, detractor, or his, you know, the people, the cats that don't want <laughs> him in their world. So, you know, I, I think that's a takeaway. I don't know if it always works out that way in real life, but, um, but it works out that way for Hank. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, next up, I've always wondered, um, Hank certainly does a lot of action scenes as a samurai, but for you, when you're in the recording studio and you're feel, uh, recording those action scenes, how do you get yourself in character to you know, express that through your voice? It's really hard work that actually. I think that's the hardest thing about doing voiceover work is when you have to start doing all these grunts and <laughs> fighting sounds, exertions, and, you know, they normally save those for the end because you really have a chance of like blowing your voice out doing that. So they're like, let's do that at the end so that we get everything we need and then we don't need you to have a voice anymore and then we can blow your voice out and then you can just go deal with that. <laughs> so it's normally like a half hour tacked onto the end of a two hour session where you're already very tired. And then you're like, okay, let's do these exertion sounds now. And I'm not kidding. I think that's the most like taxing and physically exhausting work I've ever done as an actor. It's way more exhausting than anything I've ever done on a set in live action, just standing in a booth grunting for, you know, for, for a half hour. It just takes it out of you. Wow, that's so intriguing. Yeah. Um, next up. Defend yourself. Well, I, but what am I supposed to do with a stick? Lesson one, it is not so important what you do as it is important that you do something. A warrior has cat-like reflexes. I'm not a cat, I'm a dog. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> Wait, that music. Hey, this is the training montage, isn't it? Hey, can't we just skip ahead to the part where I'm good? No, this is my favorite part. The part where you suffer. Next up, what skill set that Hank has do you wish you could have in real life as a samurai? Anything. I mean, I'm completely physically inept. So uh, any one move, one cool move of his I would take. Anything, even just doing a, doing a flip. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um, and then last question is, um, did you have to do any form of samurai training to better understand the role of Hank um, and his samurai journey? No, I didn't. But I did buy a pair of like soft foamy nunchucks during the pandemic just to just because I was sitting around at home. I was like, maybe I could learn some, you know, and I did get kind of good. I did get like I had like a little routine I could do. And for a week I had it like down up to speed where I was like, maybe I could buy some hard wooden nunchucks and do this and not like knock myself out. But I just gave up on it. Yeah. Awesome. Well, this has been incredibly insightful. Thank you so much for chatting and congrats on the film. Thank you. Nice talking to you.